you should be trying to live as long as you can so you can teach your people. So you can teach your children. You understand? So you can leave your wife with instruction on what to do if you perish before she does. You understand? It's, the, it's continuing the lineage. That's how you show love to yourself and show love to your people. You understand? You take care of yourself long enough so you can wake these brothers and sisters up. Because these brothers and sisters that you never met that might be depending on you, David. A lot of times we have choices in our life and we make those choices based on something that happened. See, our people are very reactive, you understand, instead of being active towards a goal. You understand? So that's what we're saying. Right now, you need, you have to look at yourself and be like, you know what? What are some things in my life I need to be active towards? Most of how we live in today is to push forward our death. Because we can add years to our lives by the things that we do. Up, you understand? You As you, you, you don't take years away from that. I'm telling you that you can add years that. to your I life. All right? Hey, find from that scripture with uh with Hezekiah. It, 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 All right? Second What you got? You got that one in Sirach? Let me read that. So what? Chapter 9, verse 12. Delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in. You understand? So this is the thing right here. Is I know but how old are you, bro? Forty two. Okay. Alright, so during the time when he was growing up, you remember they had the old the cool commercials and stuff like that? It's like they start promoting the use of tobacco. Those things you saw your oppressor doing. So it's like, you know what? Because I see my oppressor doing this, this is cool, that's why I'm gonna do it. You understand? So that's what we got to do, David. We got to be honest with ourselves and be like, you know what? It relates back to this. It was nothing that your mother or father, when you was growing up, said, you know what? Smoke day, uh, smoke cigarettes, David, because it's going to make you feel good. Yeah. Smoke cigarettes because it's going to add to your life. It's going to make you healthy. Yeah. You understand? We got that mindset from the oppressors. Right. They're the same people that put us in slavery. They did this to us, David. So why would we think the guidelines that they put out in society are good for us? As so called black people, right? I hear what you're talking about too. Hey, hold on one moment. Finish reading that. Go ahead. But remember, day shall not go unpunished. Remember, day shall not go unpunished. Read that again. But they shall not go unpunished unto the grave. Unto the grave. Unto the grave, right? So that's unto death. When you buy that cigarette, they have on a pack that it will cause cancer. Yeah, it can. Right? It can. So let me ask you this, David. Uh, give, give me that too. Um, uh, death is better than continuous sickness. Remember that. It's, it's either in Sirach 30 or in Sirach 18. All right? So the thing is, is this, David. Yeah, you, you might be able to live for a few years after smoking and getting lung cancer or throat cancer. But you know what? You won't go unpunished because you're defiling the temple. Most High God gave you one body to take care of. You just went in it. You just, you, you're in a, in a bottled vessel. It has to go back. You understand? Yeah. So the thing is, is this, David. I don't know about you. Like, I was told growing up, if you borrow something from somebody, make sure you give it back better 
than how you see, right? We have laws dealing with that during the laws of restitution. But you know what? Most of the time, those, those laws are not put in our mind because we didn't have them growing up. You understand? So we can't look at what this white man put out and take pleasure in that. Because that is to our destruction as a people, as a whole. So it might take you 30, 40 years to get throat cancer before you die. Somebody else, it might take them five. It might take them one year. So why, as a as an elderly man in your community, show that example to the young men? Because they're going to be watching you, David. They're going to be watching you. And those things that you do, they're going to be like, you know what? I like David. He's cool. I want to be a man just like him. Everything that I see him do, that's what I'm doing. You understand? We have to be an example to our people. Especially as Israelite men, repenting Israelite men. Yeah. You understand? The reason why our households are out of order because the men's are, uh, the men are not in order. Right. You understand? So we have to fix that. You understand that, sis? You understand that? What caused you to stop, sis? What did you hear that was like? You know what? I think I want to stop and learn. I mean, it looks very interesting to me. I'm into stuff like this. I mean, I'm in a rush, but I did I still stop. Before. Okay. Okay, okay, and then he caught you out, right? So the thing is, is this, what we're teaching is that your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of Israel according to the Bible. Right. We're the greatest people on the face of the planet, but you know what? We don't know that. We don't know that. We were supposed to, say again? You actually heard that before, right? All praise to the most high, right? But the thing is, is this, we have to learn all over how to be great. Do you understand? We have to learn that we are the temple of God and not to defile our temple. Right. Not to put in things that's causing it to die or destroy it faster than the, all, the, the timeline that we already allotted to live. Hello. You understand? Go ahead, what you got. So what? Right, chapter 30, verse 17. Right. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. Why grow old and have no ability to move. Why well, grow old and have no ability to speak and tell your children what death said the Lord or the history of our forefathers? Where all that comes from? Come from smoking and stuff. But if you're talking about it, tell me about my mama. She's not a smoker. She's not a banger. She's not a drug dealer. She has a smoke period. Like I said, it's stuff that happens to humans that happens just because she was born here. You know? Yeah, it, it is a lot of stuff that happened to us. No, no, you go through the same thing. But, but David, check this out. Right, it's something, you know, it's, it, it, it's it, it, different it, 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 from having something. Listen, listen to what I'm saying, David. Because I understand what you're saying. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. runs in your family. This sickness runs in your family versus you taking on a disease. You understand that, David? Yeah. You're taking on a disease of throat cancer when you're putting that filth in your body. Right. You understand? You don't realize, you think you, you smoke in straight tobacco leaves, but it's feces in there. Yeah. It's boo-boo in there. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying, David? So it's not just at the point to where, yeah, you're going to die or you want to accept whatever disease. No. You should be trying to live as long as you can so you can teach your people. So you can teach your children. You understand? So you can leave your wife with instruction on what to do if you perish before she does. You understand? It's, to, it's continue your lineage. That's how you show love to yourself and show love to your people. You understand? You take care of yourself long enough so you can wake these brothers and sisters up. Right. Because these brothers and sisters that you never met that might be depending on you, David, to well, preach this word. You I, understand? I, I, people that talk like that, they admire me. They follow me a lot. I'll be telling my kids say me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Because the thing is, bro, we have to realize that we have a greater purpose than putting death in our body. Yeah. Whether it's smoking or excessive drinking. You understand? So you can drink, but it's not for you to get drunk. 
Yeah. You understand? You understand? Because we shouldn't be at the point it's like that drink is made for somebody that's ready to perish. You ready to forget everything. You understand? So you overly drink. You understand? Well, read what you got. You want to it? Uh, 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 give me that uh, death and life. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Uh -huh. That I have set before you life and death. So that's what we're doing, David. We're setting before you life and death. It's things that you can do. If you stop defiling your temple, you can get better with your health. You understand what I'm saying? And live longer to do great works. You understand? As you were purposed to do. See, you were God on this earth, David. But nobody ever told you that you was a God. And there's things that you have to do. Uh-huh. Right, but I'm not gonna say I'm a God because I believe in God. Hold hold that. Hold that. Let's get Psalms 82. I, I will, I, will, I will believe I was here and I'm a, I'm a, uh, 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 I'm a heavily sick uh, person on, on this world, but I'm not going to agree that I am a God. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. people overlook yeah. our expectations of our life or, or what well, David, we're here for and, and, and reason for us being here, you know? Okay. And, you know what I'm saying? I, well, I hear that, but... Well, I'm going to tell you this, David. A lot of times we don't realize that we are the gods on the earth. Yeah. On this earth, because we went through this, we went through slavery, right? Most High gave His Spirit, yeah. right, okay. in this book for His brother, for His people to read and give instructions to those people that weren't there yet. You understand? That was still in sin, because, like Moses said, I wish that we all could be teachers. Yeah. Christ said, I wish that I, I wish that all of our, uh, yeah, that was Moses said, I wish that all of my brothers would be able to teach. Yeah. You understand? The disciples say, I wish all of my brothers would teach. You understand? But the thing is, is that everybody's not going to hear it. You understand? But it's our mission to give you this word regardless. All right? Come on. I'm seeking chapter 3, verse 17. Oh, yeah. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Huh? Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. Hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. So that's what we're trying to tell you today. We're trying to give you the warning, warning of this Bible. But it's for all of our people, so that's why we have a microphone or we talk loud. You understand? Come on. Was that in? Wait. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt only die, and thou givest him not the warning. No, that's it. That's it. All right. What was that? Uh, um, two, two and three, or uh, three and two? I'm talking about two a uh, stiff neck people. Where is that? I know you got what three and eleven. Read that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 3 And he said unto me Son of man I send thee to the children of Israel To a rebellious nation To a rebellious nation So I'm going to tell you God's word Most High God being a black man His word Jesus the Christ being a black man Anytime a black man see a black man speak Or a Native American man see a black man speak It's rebellion You understand? But your person speak That so called white man Especially if you're on if you're on your job, you're giving a paycheck, or you see him as the image of Christ, what's gonna happen? You don't listen. You don't listen. Cause that fear it, that fear is in you. It was instilled in you through slavery. And anytime your your brother would talk to you to get out of the situation, you will fight against it. Because what? If you fought against this man, you die. Instead of your brother saying, "Hey, brother, stop sinning," or you die. I ain't afraid of you. I ain't afraid of God. Who they afraid of? Their God, this white man. So that's why that rebellion system is so heavy. When they hear our brother speaking. Read it again. And he said unto me, son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation. They have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me. Us and our fathers have transgressed, have transgressed against the Lord. That's why we got to fix ourselves and teach those that come after us, David. You understand? So that so that the wrath of God don't continue to come upon us. Because even when the Native Americans were shipped to Great Britain, even when they were shipped to Great Britain, what happened? We were still in slavery. Our people were put in zoos. Our people were used as prostitutes. Even in the West, they were cut, cut off the, because the, the Native Americans would run so much and have have good sized thighs, they would skin them and wear them as chaps. You understand? That's a representation of the oppression of our people. 
How do we forget that? They separate us into groups. They separate us into groups and say, hey, you African American, you West Indian black, you North American Indian. You understand? They put us in a different group so we can separate it. But you're the brother of the so-called Mexican. You're the brother of those that's from Argentina to Chile. You're the brother of those that's in Brazil. You're the brother of those that's in, um, in the Dominican Republic. Cuban, Puerto Ricans, in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? And even brothers and sisters scattered to the west coast of Africa or in Russia. Bro, Brother David, make sure you repent, bro. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.